Yo guys, it's BZ. Today I'm going to show you guys the best render setting to use for Premiere Pro. Before I start this video, I'd just like to say 9% of my views are not subscribed. So if you guys enjoy my content, consider hitting that subscribe button. It really means a lot to me and I would also appreciate if you guys could check out my content because I make a lot of different type of R6 videos just like montages, editing tutorials, R6 news and leaks, and tips and tricks. But with that being said, let's get straight into the video. So once you're on the X-Point page, you want to put the format to H.264. Then you want to go to video, you put the width and height to whatever your video resolution is. So if it's 1080p, you put it to 1080p. If it's 1440p, you put it to 1440p. Mine's 1440p, so I'm going to keep it how it is right now. You want to put the frame rate to the highest you can, so 60fps. You should normally be recording your montages in 60fps, so this should be the default for a lot of people. You want to put the field order to progressive, aspect to square pixels, 1.0. You could render it maximum depth. This just makes your PC work a bit harder when it doesn't really make any difference because I've tested it with the setting on and with the setting off and it hasn't really made too much of a difference. So you can put it on if your PC can handle it, but I have it off so you guys can have it off as well. You want to turn the performance to hardware encoding. So this uses your GPU. If you put on software encoding, it would be using your CPU. You want to put the profile to high leave the level at 5.1 then you want to come down to bitrate encoding you want to pay it to cbr and change the target bitrate to 20. i have tested it out on a lot of different bit rates and this is the best one for me obviously it can change for different people depending on your connection speed and and your pc build however cbr on target bitrate 20 is the best for me so you guys try it out if, if you need to change it a little you can change it Next, you want to go to audio. Make sure that your sample rate is on 48,000 hertz. The channel's on stereo. Just make sure all these sound settings are the same. I haven't really changed any effects. Some people do use maximum render quality. They do check it. But again, I don't because it doesn't really make any difference. I've tried it with it and without it. And I haven't really seen any difference. It just makes your render time much longer, which is just very annoying for not much difference in quality. Again, if you do have a strong PC and you do want to use it, check it, no problem. Next, you want to check in, use previews. So as you can see, I have this line is all green because when I was in the timeline, I went to sequence and I rendered in and out, which basically pre-rendered it for me. So when I go to, to export it and use previews, it's already using the preview that's already rendered to help me render out quicker. If you guys are creating a montage with a lot of slow mo effects and stuff like that you do want to turn on optical flow but if you're just creating a normal video you can just leave it on frame sampling and then to save the preset you want to go to right here save preset and then just name whatever you guys want doesn't really matter and then you just want to export it i hope you guys enjoyed that video i know it was a bit short but it was just a quick little video to help you guys on your render sense if you guys want to see any other videos just comment down below Join my Discord server for any questions because I'll answer every single person that messages me. Links to my Twitch, Twitter, and Discord down below. And I'll see you guys next time. I just need to head shot on that, but um, I think it's on the. I think it's. What the fuck? You pushed in! Oh, they're gonna come back to this. No, they're there. Lost his back there. Lost his back there.